Okay, hello everybody. Just want to give you an update on the indoor project and what I've been doing inside here. Uh, underneath my NFT table, <clears throat> I clipped on a fluorescent light. We got a bunch of seeds started for the greenhouse outside. So down here I've got sweet corn and popcorn. Uh, let's see, we've got broccoli down there. We got some Roma tomatoes. Don't look so good. And then down in the tray, I've got artichokes. Um, what else do I have? I have some tomatoes. I've got a lot of stuff growing down there. Um, I can't see the tags around the other side. But um, so I've got all of my little seedlings going, getting ready to be moved outside. Up here, I've got some some other seeds. These are uh, an heirloom variety tomato. Got three of those. Got some other little seeds starting. I'm going to take these seeds, these are cool weather crops like lettuces and uh, spinach, and I'm going to move those into the vertical hydroponic wall outside. I've already put a few plants outside on that hydroponic wall, and uh, they seem to be doing fine. We've even gotten some snow, but with all the running water and everything, they seem to be pretty happy in, in the greenhouse. So, uh, Let's see, back there, those are Brussels sprouts. And if you remember this old lima bean plant, believe it or not, it started to grow again. I didn't rip it out, um, but you know we've got only like one little pea pod. Over here is a different variety of heirloom tomatoes. Now these are another type of pepper plant. This is one we found in the store. It didn't say what variety it was, but it was kind of like a sweet pepper, but it was shaped like a jalapeno. Uh, and it was like red and yellow. So we've got these growing. Um, I'm going to use a paintbrush here and pollinate them and see what we end up with. I'm not really sure uh, what it's going to turn into. Now the other news is I have three jalapeno plants that I started growing and um, initially I didn't think they'd get very big but they've outgrown the light and in fact the middle plant was growing so high I just had to trim the heck out of it to you know have it avoid getting into the light and burning so I've got three pepper plants and this middle one ended up growing out to the side here this is that same jalapeno plant it's all the way out there so the jalapenos kind of surprised me because Jalapenos I grew outside grew maybe maybe this tall or so. I mean they were they were not very happy, but um, these plants have grown like gangbusters. I mean I've got clusters and clusters of jalapenos. I don't know if you can see these back here, but um, no, there's there's a lot of stuff in the way of the camera. I mean I've got just huge amounts. There's probably two dozen peppers at various sizes growing on this. And they're growing all the way up here. They're outside of the light now. But still keeps putting out blooms. It must be getting enough light from the other plants. Now the third pepper plant has grown all the way to the back there. And it's putting on peppers now too. You can see uh, a few peppers. They're They're smaller. This first plant is really the the king plant is growing great, but uh, I personally have never had a pepper plant. Jalapenos just grow insane like this, so pretty happy with that. Unfortunately, the the light kind of got in the way. I'm not sure what to do. I think next year I'm going to shut this guy down for the summer. I'm going to lower the water and drain and kind of move this whole table down. So I've got a little more distance between uh, the, the stuff that's growing and my 400 watt metal highlight light that I've got growing up here. Because um, I was just shocked at how big and how fast this thing grew. Um, so anyway, that's what's been going on indoors. I'm getting all my seeds ready to go outside. And uh, I still have some of those little black annoying pests that came from the soil of this avocado plant which a, a friend of ours asked us to watch over the summer. 
So I brought it in, the little creatures got all over my plants. And, uh, you know, since I've been growing stuff in dirt, getting ready to transfer it outside in here, um, they've just kind of persisted. So when I shut it down for the summer, the bugs will be gone. I'm going to clean everything out and make some modifications and then decide what I'm going to do next year. I think what I'll probably end up doing is just growing uh, lettuces inside. They're a lot easier, they're a lot quicker to deal with, and that's what we eat the most of. The pepper plants are really nice, but I mean, they're just out of control in here. I think they're going to be too big, even with the table lowered next year. They'll probably get burnt when they reach up to the sky. But uh, anyway, this is going on. Um, I'm going to show in another video what's going on outside. I've got some strawberries planted in the vertical tower now and uh, some lettuces. I'm noticing that uh, even without a lot of plants in there the water kind of evaporates a little quicker in there. Um, it's going to take a lot more maintenance so every few days at least uh, even without plants I'm going to have to go out there and fill it up and rebalance pH levels and add nutrients and that kind of stuff so uh, I have a feeling it's going to take a lot of time and just careful monitoring uh, make sure everything's going well out there. So anyway, I'll show you that pretty soon. Oh yeah, Thanks. before Bye. I leave, I just wanted to uh, let you know, someone was asking about what sort of nutrients I'm using, and uh, someone else asked about the wine and how it's doing. So you can see with the black shading cloth, the wine has remained nicely shadowed, um, so we're not having any problems with that, fortunately. And the product I use to feed my plants is a product from ChemGrow. Right now I'm just using the lettuce formula because uh, the small size is a five pound box. So I picked that up and additionally you have to buy some calcium nitrate and magnesium sulfate. So I've got all of the mixing directions right from their website ChemGrow. Uh, this for their lettuce formula. And as you can see, they recommend for mature plants 1,575 parts per million. Um, so, and you want your pH between six and six and a half. Uh, what I ended up doing was doing some calculations because this mixing instruction is for 100 gallons of water. I have nowhere near that much, but um, so what I did was per five gallons, I figured out for the mature I need 0.4 ounces of the lettuce formula and calcium nitrate and then magnesium sulfate I do 0.25 ounces per five gallons and so I've got you know 15 gallon bucket over there container so I just do three times that so I take this box and this box and this box and I use my scale I measure it out and then I take some hot water and mix that together and as you can see I've got a lot left and I've been using this all winter and now I've been using it outside in the greenhouse for the vertical hydroponic so it's really a great deal it's the cheapest way to go because the dry ingredients are much cheaper than the liquids you just have to mix it up it takes a little more time but um, I love it and the plants are just growing like out of control with it so everything seems pretty happy with this mixture so I'll be using that in the greenhouse all summer. Yeah, I know it's lettuce formula, but um, but uh, that's what I've anyway, got. Anyway, that's what's going on here. Um, down here are some calendula flowers. I was just using that to mix up some herbalism uh, infused oils. Use that for other stuff. So anyway, just want to give you that update as far as the chemicals I'm using. Talk to you later. Bye.